The international community is called to play a more engaging role in bringing peace in Yemen. The German government indeed is engaging positively through the Yemen Peace Support Facility that was established three years ago on Germany's initiative. It is administrated by the United Nations and 10 countries contribute financial resources to the fund, while Germany is the largest donor to the facility. More on German support is within the following report. The start of meaningful discussions to end the war in Yemen is imminent. On July 4th, Germany sponsored a donor meeting with the United Nations to support UN Special Envoy Hans Grunberg's significant mediation efforts. A ceasefire agreement signed in April 2022 between the government and the Houthi rebels was extended in June and is currently in effect until the beginning of August. The window of opportunity will now be used to deliver targeted assistance to the UN's peacekeeping efforts. The conference at the Federal Foreign Office was held to support UN Special Envoy for Yemen, Hans Grunberg's mediation efforts, and to examine the feasibility of a consolidated ceasefire or armistice. On Germany's initiative, the Yemen Peace Support Facility was founded three years ago and is managed by the United Nations. Ten nations, including Sweden, Italy, the Netherlands, and the United Kingdom, as well as the European Union, contribute financial resources to the fund. Germany is the facility's main donor. Minister of State Tobias Lindner announced additional financial assistance for the PSF, providing 4 million euros to the activities of the peace support facility for Yemen. He voiced cautious optimism about the Berlin meeting of international peace activists and claimed that a solution to the Yemeni situation seemed possible. The future strategic development of the peace support facility as well as tangible practical initiatives were agreed upon in Berlin. The PSF is meant to aid in the prevention of environmental disasters such as those in the Red Sea. For years, a solution to the aging 40-year-old supertanker FSO Safer, which carried over 1 million barrels of crude oil, has been sought. The floating oil storage and loading station is located near Yemen's coastal city of Hodeida and has been unmaintained for years owing to the effects of the civil conflict. If the platform leaks, there is a significant possibility of a catastrophic oil spill. Professional Dutch companies' technicians are presently in Yemen to advance the preparations for a prospective salvage operation. It is hoped that, owing to a prior political agreement, a technical solution may be found. Germany has contributed almost 10 million euros to the salvage operation.